ladies and British gentlemen, today we're going to check out the Cole, Tyr and Druid forms in their current state on the PTR. I say that because there is a few little bits missing which I'll uh, explain, but yeah, so today we're going to check out the bear form, the cat form, the travel form, the aqua form, the flight form, and the moonkin form, and the tree form. Yeah, so we've got a few forms to go through. Going to try not to take too long on each form, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so let's begin with the bear form. So, this is the Col Tyran bear, and it is pretty damn cool. So, we have seen these forms before. Uh, they've come through the woodwork, through uh, through the beta and alpha phases. Now, they're finally here, and we can finally play them. Uh, going to show you some animations as well of the, uh, the combat. So, yeah, just going to be attacking this... Um, this target dummy here to show you a few bits and pieces. Just to add, the Cold Tyran Racial of Haymaker is usable in Druid form, so that's pretty cool. You could probably use that inside your rotation. If you want to see the Cold Tyran Racials, I do have a video for it, so check that out in the top right. Uh, so yeah, this form takes its inspiration from Drust and the Drust magic. Uh, a lot of these forms do, and you can see that it's kind of like a wicker bear, and it is really cool. It is a shared model with the regular druid bears. Uh, it's kind of got that new stance that came in in Battle for Azeroth, which is a lot better than what it was previously, where it was like kind of looking down and it clips with the floor. This one's not too bad. So you can see the druid markings on the legs there. The head is really cool. It's got a kind of bonsandi look to it, where it's kind of rugged and more like just a skull with no skin on it. It's it's pretty rugged. You've got these kind of straps around the horns and things. Uh, big green glowing eyes. So this does come in a number of colors. Uh, you've got four different variants for it. You've got this one you can see right here. You've got kind of a light, kind of whitish one. You've got a darker one and then a green one. Uh, so this is currently not working on the PTR, so you can't show you them in game, but this is, uh, yeah, that's what they look like. So that'll be obviously changed through changing your hair color like any other druid. Okay, so let's move on to the cat form. Now, uh, this is the Cold Tyran cat, and you can see what the kind of theme is going here, like kind of that drusty sort of uh, wicker look that uh, you get a lot with the with the stuff in Drusvar. I actually expected a lot of these forms to just be kind of rehashes of uh, creatures from Drusvar, but the bear and the cat and uh, most of the other forms are brand new things exclusively for the Cold Tyran druid, which is really cool. Uh, I absolutely love the legs on this thing. I love how it's just like branches, and there's actually holes in them as well, uh, which is awesome. Uh, it's got kind of a kind of a mane made out of like leaves and things, which is really nice. The head again is very similar to the druid bear, where it looks very rustic, and it's just kind of just a skull kind of there with some straps around it. It's got a big green glowing mouth and really bright green glowing eyes, which is awesome. Uh, from the back, it actually kind of looks very wolf-like, uh, but I believe this is yeah, it's pretty much a cow. I mean, you can kind of tell from the saber teeth. Uh, much like the bear, it does have a number of colours as well, uh, four to be exact. Very similar colourations to the bear, of course. Uh, you have the white one, you have the green back one, uh, you have the kind of bluish one, which is really cool, and obviously the one that you can see here. Uh, the animations, again, are exactly the same as the uh, the regular cat form. There's no new animations, and this form and the bear form does actually dance as well. So if you want to do your druid dance, that is still available for you to do, and, uh, that's, and that's very exciting, but unfortunately it's not a new dance, but the dance is still pretty cool. So next up, let's take a look at the travel form for this Cold Tyran, and the default one currently on the PTR is the lighter colored one. Uh, again, this does come in four different colors, uh, same coloration as the cat and the bear, of course, and uh, this is probably one of the weaker colors, honestly. I prefer the darker colors on this one uh, specifically. You will be able to take players on your back, even though it doesn't look like it because it's super spiky on the thing, but yeah, you can actually take uh, players on your back. It's got the same sort of legs as the cat. It's got like holes in them again. Uh, it's got a very wickery look to it. Um, not quite as high res as the cat and the bear though, for some reason. I, I, I'm, I'm not really too sure on why that is. Uh, but the head is awesome on this thing. I believe it uses the exact same rigging and animations as the regular travel form uh, for the druids. And I really do like this. I love the massive horns on it. I think it looks incredible. And it just looks really menacing, honestly. And uh, it's a pretty damn cool travel form. Obviously, you can change this travel form through glyphs and whatnot. Uh, not 100% on that. I don't play druid. But yeah, if someone can confirm that, I'm sure you can do that. It's got a similar glowing mouth and eyes similar to the cat form. And yeah, pretty cool form overall. I am a big fan of this one, especially. So the next form we're going to take a look at is the flight form, and that's something that we haven't really seen too much of. Uh, it is basically a wicker crow thing, using the same animations as the, uh, the druid flight form. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. I think it looks menacing as hell. Uh, it's not as big as you thought it would be, because obviously the Colterians are big, thick boys, and I would have thought the bird form would have been a bit bigger, but unfortunately, 
that's what it looks like. And I think it does look cool, definitely. I, I can't say a bad word about it, honestly. It, it looks great. It's really menacing. Uh, it comes in four colors once again, similar to the other forms. Don't know if this one's going to be changeable, but yeah, there is four colors in the game files for it. So potentially we might be seeing some other colors for it coming through at some point. But really big fan of this flight form. I think it looks really cool. And uh, it's a shame it's not bigger. That's that's really my only complaint. And maybe a bit fatter. It feels like a big, feels like a big fat bird flying about. That'd be absolutely hilarious. But it is what it is. And it's, it's... Yeah, it's better than like some of the creatures from Drusfar, so it, it is nice to see an actual unique model for this uh, flight form. So keeping to the topic of travel forms, this is the aquatic form for the Cold Tyrant humans. It is a freaking undead wicker walrus, and it is awesome looking. Uh, it's tubby, it's rustic, it's weird, it's got spikes on it, it's got like leather all over it, it's... It's really, really unique, and I, I love the look of this thing. It is so interesting, and obviously I don't think people are going to be using it as much as like some of the other forms, and I don't think you'll see it as often, but I really do love the look of it, and much like the other forms, it's very similar to the, uh, the Night Elf Druid and the other Druids, but I really do like this one. Uh, massive, massive tusks on the front there. That is so cool, and honestly, seeing all these Cold Tyrion forms makes me really want more unique druid forms like for the worgen and things because i feel like the worgen's a bit lackluster honestly compared to some of these forms uh i can see why people are ra gonna race change their druids because they are really cool and i love the theming throughout them as well like the kind of drust magic and wicker sort of theming it's absolutely incredible i've been a fan of that theming since you know the battle for azeroth alpha going into drust for the first time and seeing all that witchcraft stuff is really really cool and finally seeing a druid form uh, like the aquatic form, for example, is cool. And this creature, uh, specifically the walrus thing, there's no non-druid version of it in the world. Or at least I haven't seen one. Uh, so it is unique in that in that sense. And I, yeah, I really do like it. Also comes in the exact same color schemes as the other ones, of course. Uh, you know, the white one, the green one, the darker one, etc. Uh, yeah, cool looking form. So the next form we're going to check out is the controversial Boomkin form. And here it is. Uh, so much like the other forms, again, I seem like I'm repeating myself at this point, there is different colors for this. Uh, not 100% if you will be able to change it, but there is colors in the game files right now. Uh, this is it, and personally, I, it's not that much taller than the regular Cold Tyrion. In fact, it's very, very slightly taller, but it isn't what we expected. Now, the, one of the Moonkin was one of the last forms to make their way into the game files, and we all suspected it was going to be those giant Wicker Beasts from Drusfar. And uh, you see those all around, you see those in like Waycrest Manor and things like that, but no, it ended up being a kind of a Moonkin, a tubby, weird looking Moonkin. And I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I do like the design, I think it does look cool, but I think it's really strange in the details. So if you look at the hands, for example, it looks like it's wearing like gloves. I don't know, it's it's weird, and like on the biceps there's these veins, which is strange. Um, the kind of, the, the rope waist is really nice, I do like that design there, uh, with the kind of uh, cloth hanging down off it. Uh, the animations are the same as a Moonkin, of course. On the kind of back tusks, you've got those bones hanging off that kind of wiggle when you run around. They've actually got physics on them when you jump and run, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know re really how, how I feel about this form, really. It's, it's okay, but I feel like it would have been more menacing to have those kind of drust creatures uh, with more of a druid flavor to them. I don't know, but let me know down below what you think of this form. I, it's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, there is actually an incarnation version of it as well in the game files, but currently that is not active on the PTR, so uh, here is a picture of it. It looks really cool. It's just in a, it's just a bit more glowy than the uh, the normal version, and uh, that'll probably be making its way into the game files as soon as, uh, as soon as they're ready to show it, but yeah, not 100% on this one. I think it's a little bit goofy, honestly. And finally, let's check out the Druid Tree Form. Now, fortunately, this is one of the more lackluster ones on this list. Uh, I don't mean a Druid, as I said previously, but I believe this is uh, not a new color, but I believe it's an unused color, which now is being used for the Cold Tyrans. Uh, not quite as drusty and wicker looking as the previous ones. It's just a recolor of the other Tree Forms, which all the other races have. Um, has a few spikes on there. I don't know if the spikes are a new feature for this specific uh, Cold Tyrion, but yeah, not too much to talk about with this, unfortunately. It's not as incredible and breathtaking as the other forms. Maybe they have something in the works for the Cold Tyrion tree form, uh, but currently there's nothing in the game files, and that is the one that you currently have. 
And that is pretty much it, guys. That is all the forms currently available for the Cultier and Druid. Now, unfortunately, because of the riding bug that's currently going on the PTR, I can't show you what the Druid class mount looks like. Apparently, there is different colors for each race. Uh, and this is a 110 class trial as well, so I don't have that mount. Um, so if anyone does get a chance to test that on the PTR, do let me know below what, uh, what they're going to go with. I don't know if they've... Well, currently, there's no new colors in the game files for that mount, so we'll see what happens. So let me know down below what you think of the Cultier and Druid forms. Will you be rolling a Cultier and Druid? Will you be race changing into one? Or do you hate the forms? Do you hate everything about them? Uh, let me know down below and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll also be working on a Zandalari Druid form video very, very soon for you guys. So if you do want to see that on the channel, do smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. So keep an eye out on the channel because that is coming very, very soon. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't, If I, as I already said. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3 fans members and a merch store over on Streamlabs. And if you want to check me out playing the PTR, testing out things, taking your requests, I will be live over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. I'm probably live right now, so check it out, twitch.tv slash MrGM. Link is in the description, as always. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.